Our next guest is a globe-trotting billionaire who's crossed the world in a hot air balloon, travelled into space and even lives on his own private island. Not James Bond. <laughs> it is, of course, the one and only Sir Richard Branson. He's real. Our one's real. <laughs> uh, lovely to see you this morning. Lovely to see you Thank both. you for coming in. Uh, you are releasing your audiobook, your memoirs. You've sort of combined them and gone back over them and re-recorded them. Um, I wonder what it was like going back over those stories. Were there things in them that you'd forgotten? Uh, yeah, there were lots of things. I mean, I, I set, we set up um, a makeshift studio with mattresses and, uh, in, and, and under, the, under my house on Necker Island and, uh, and we couldn't have the air conditioning on, so I was sitting there in my underwear... <laughs> um, go, going, Boiling go, hot. Going, going, going back over 70 years and, um, uh, and dripping. <laughs> but, um, but, you know, I think all of us should write a book. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, but we, or you, everybody's got a fa fascinating life. Life is fascinating. And um, so I was reading it for my kids and for my grandkids um, and, then, and then maybe then for their, <laughs> their kids and grandkids. Um, and, uh, and, you know, sometimes I sort of said as I came to certain chapters, this guy must be... Must have been off his head for, <laughs> for, 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 for sort of uh, trying to kill himself yet again oh. in another hot air balloon crossing or whatever. But um, but it did make for I think a, an exciting you know an exciting life, exciting stories, and and um, uh, and um, you know and and I've just been lucky to have had one hell of a, one hell of an adventure. But I think that's what makes your story so exciting is the fact that. You, you, you don't mind, you don't, well, you don't seem to mind failure. You seem to, to just go for it. If you believe in something and you truly want to do it and you have the passion, you go for it and you, and you kind of don't let those, those yeah. voices in your head tell you, but what about this and what about that? And what if it doesn't work? No, my, I mean, my, you know, I, I mean, I, my, my favourite word is screw it, let's do it. <laughs> and, and, and so... You know, um, people will, uh, you know, come with some outrageous idea to, um, I don't know, take on British Airways or, <laughs> or, or um, fly to know, space, transform the t trains companies industry, or tr make, you know, create a cruise company that is unlike any cruise company that's ever been, you know, uh, uh, tried before. And and my attitude is, yeah, l l you know, screw it, let's try it, and and. If we fall flat on our face, we'll, you know, we'll move on to the next thing. Yeah. And, um, uh, and sometimes we have fallen flat on our face and some, sometimes it's worked out. So, um, but we, we've had one you know, hell of a lot of fun you know, just try, trying and learning all the time, just learning about new things. Yeah. And, um, you know, and when I was you know, very young, my mum would... Uh, you know, we always wanted us to stand on our own two feet. She would you know, push me out of the car aged five and told me to make my own way to granny's house and I got lost on the way and she got in a complete panic but you know she'd managed to you know it was her way of saying right you, you know you, 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 can, you can do it you don't I mean these days that would be frowned upon me <laughs> she'd, she'd be, a, she'd, she'd be, a, she'd be a, arrested <laughs> today and I'm not recommending it to any mums out there <laughs> Uh, I, uh, yeah. the, the, I think, as Kat says, and I think one of the things you've embraced is, is failure is such an important part of learning. And you've had so much success. But I wonder if you can share some of the things that didn't work and what that taught you. Um, we've had... I've, I've had lots of things that... Uh, I mean, I we took on Coca-Cola and... Um, with Virgin Cola. Oh, yeah, and, forgotten about that. Uh, and for two years, it, you know, we were out selling Coke in Tesco's and other places. And then we made the mistake of land, going to Times Square in a, in a British Sherman tank and crushing a whole lot of Coke and <laughs> Pepsi cans, as you do. And, um, and they uh, got, got on uh, a big... Uh, DC-10 uh, at Atlanta, and they flew it to England full of squat teams and money, and, and, and suddenly just Virgin Cola disappeared from, you know, all Tesco's shells and other people's shells, and, and you know, no, nobody could get Virgin Cola anymore. So they, they basically... Uh, and was they, that, that... Do you think that that was that big publicity stunt that you tried, sort of riled those big multinationals up, and they thought, right, oh, we're going to put this guy yeah. back in his place? and, and, and the... You know, British Airways did the same to us with Virgin Atlantic. Yes. Um, but, uh, and they launched what was called the Dirty Tricks campaign. And, uh, but because Virgin Atlantic was a better airline than British Airways, um, and because we managed to take them to court and, you know, prove the extreme, extreme tactics methods mm. they were using and win, win a, 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 quite a famous case, 
Um, we survived, but with, with, you know, two cans of Coke, we, can, we couldn't have been that much better, whereas with Virgin Atlantic, we, we were palpably better than them. And that's one of the things that you always do, is you always do travel by Virgin. You travel on the planes, you travel on the ships, you do that so that you can constantly push the envelope. Yeah, I mean, I, it's important, to, you know, to, to, you know, if you run a company, you've got to, I mean, I flew in on Virgin Atlantic this morning. Um, yeah. you, you, you know, I, I get out, meet, meet, met all the passengers, met, met the staff, have a notebook yeah. on board. Um, write, you know, take take notes, you know, little suggestions and ideas. And Do they all get nervous when you come on? Hello, sir. The, the, Hello, the, sir. The, 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 the most common question I get asked was, um, is, Do you, are you on every flight? <laughs> <laughs> but but, but uh, there was one girl who was br brand new, first yeah. first Aww. first time as a stewardess on on Virgin, and um, so you know, it's lo lovely to be able to you know, welcome somebody on board. Yeah. Uh, we're going to finish with a few quick fire questions on, for our billionaire on the sofa, if we may. Things that our, our production team are thinking, what would you ask a billionaire if you could? All things that everyday people think about all the time and they wonder whether you would as well, uh, Richard. <laughs> if we can start with these. Uh, first question, do you do your own food shopping? Nope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, have a, I have a wonderful wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm. Do you ever check your own bank balance? Nope. nope. No, don't have to do that. Uh, what does someone buy you as a... Which would be... I'm always borrowing money to do the next <laughs> project, so there wouldn't be any money in it. And I'm, I'm not officially a billionaire anyway. But... Not officially. <laughs> Let's not get that in the way. I... Uh, what does someone buy you as a present? What are the best presents you get? Um, oh, obviously, you know, love. I mean, just time with grand... You know, surprise, being surprised with the grandkids turning up or... Yeah, yeah. same as anybody else. Yeah. Uh, do you ever cook and what's your signature dish? Um... I can now use the microwave. Uh, <laughs> okay. so, the microwave. Uh, uh, anything, anything that warms up in the microwave. <laughs> nice. uh, have you ever thought that's too expensive? Oh yes, all the time. What was the last thing I don't like? Was too I don't like sort of wasting money on, you know, exp on, on expensive things. Hmm. So you don't waste money. You're quite frugal when it comes to the things. Yeah, I'm, that you I'll, I'll turn off lights, and I'm frugal. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I, I, was, I, like I, my I, was, dad, I, I started with. Started with nothing, and and uh, I appreciate if, I appreciate you know being a, having created some things, but it's I never created them for the money. I no. still still um, and that's the drive. The uh, ideas. Yeah. I just love love, love creating. And yeah, absolutely. Well, so, and the, one, of the, one, like one, one of one of one of one of the worst words I hate is the word billionaire because I think you know you 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 uh, you know you are what you are. You cre you create things. What you're worth is not how you should be labelled, in my opinion, and 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 um, and I just see money as a way to be able to create new things, create new jobs, create things you can be proud of. And you've done Very a lot well of those things, it's as you'll find well out put. if you listen to the books. They are really gripping. Richard, lovely to see you. Well thank you very much. Thank you so much. Um, well done with what you've created here. Aww, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.